Why are you looking at an empty background? Because you weren't supposed to see this video. And by that, I mean, I recorded and edited it all and then decided against publishing it because there was something I didn't like about it. But then I figured it would be a shame to waste the time I put into this and the over 200 bucks I spent on a realistic hand analog. So here it is after all to be taken with a grain of salt, I suppose. All right, so let's test something that a lot of people object to in sparring, which is quick cuts to the hands. You know, this, this little, this kind of thing. A lot of people think that that wouldn't do anything. Let's find out. This is what I wasn't entirely happy with in hindsight. I had a lot of tests planned for that day. We were running out of daylight and went for the quickest way to build a stand, which ended up unnaturally rigid, which of course skews the result. It's somewhat counteracted by the fact that the hand wasn't actually holding onto a sword grip, which effectively becomes a chopping block when the hand and fingers are crushed between the grip and the opponent's weapon. It's a little bit higher than the hand normally would be. It's like, you don't normally hold a sword out like this, but whatever. So the idea is he has, holds a sword here, right? I have a bind with his blade, and then I'm gonna disengage from the bind and go up like this and cut the hand. Yeah. That was a pretty light cut and I didn't hit it as well as I wanted. But still, that finger couldn't be used anymore. And by the way, the edge on that blade was not even good. It came with a horribly steep secondary bevel. Rick sharpened it, but there was only so much he could do without reprofiling the entire thing. So it doesn't cut all that well, but did more than enough damage to the hand to disable it. Okay, I don't have a long sword on hand right now, so I'm gonna use this messer here, which is sharpened on the back. So, bind, disengage, cut. This bone here is severed. That's pretty bad. Oh, here too, wait, what? Oh yeah, this is all, the entire hand is broken. Mm -hmm. In several, oh, here too. Literally every finger is broken. Every finger is broken. Wow. That's this was not digitally enhanced. <laughs> this sword is very light. Okay, um. I was convinced I would just do a little bit of damage with that because I really didn't it's with didn't damage. didn't give it that much power. But yeah, this is completely severed. The only problem is I wanted to get more cuts out of it. <laughs> now it's already gone. Hands are fragile. Do you get it? I mean, come on. You gotta hand it to it. Look how smooth that is. This turned out way worse than I expected. With such a light, narrow blade, I expected it to cut into the hand, but just effortlessly slicing through the whole thing and dropping it on the ground. Yikes. Hands are remarkably vulnerable to sharp blades. Who would have thought, right? You totally needed this video to learn that. Well, hopefully it had some entertainment value. Thanks for watching and have a good one, folks. Keep your digits safe. Next time, Somebody's like a little puny cut that wouldn't do anything. I hope your hands hurt from seeing this.